Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. When hunger came to be felt throughout the land of Egypt, and the people cried to Pharaoh for bread, Pharaoh directed all the Egyptians to go to Joseph and do whatever he told them. 
When the famine had spread throughout the land, Joseph opened all the cities that had grain and rationed it to the Egyptians since the famine had gripped the land of Egypt. In fact, all the world came to Joseph to obtain rations of grain, for famine had gripped the whole world. The sons of Israel were among those who came to procure rations. It was Joseph, as governor of the country, who dispensed the rations to all the people. When Joseph's brothers came and knelt down before him with their faces to the ground, he recognized them as soon as he saw them. But Joseph concealed his own identity from them and spoke sternly to them. With that, he locked them up in the guardhouse for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to his brothers, Do this, and you shall live, for I am a God-fearing man. If you have been honest, only one of your brothers need to be confined in this prison, while the rest of you may go and take home provisions for your starving families. But you must come back to me with your youngest brother. Your words will thus be verified, and you will not die. To this, to this they agreed. To one another, however, they said, Alas, you are being punished because of our brother. We saw the anguish of his heart when he pleaded with us, yet we paid no heed. That is why this anguish has now come upon us. Reuben broke in, Did I not tell you? not to do wrong to the boy, but you would not listen. Now comes the reckoning for his blood. The brothers did not know, of course, that Joseph understood what they said, since he spoke with them through an interpreter. But turning away from them, he wept. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with the ten strings large chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let Your mercy be on us as we place our trust in You. Please stand. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the, the, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory, or enter a Samaritan town, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we all know the saying, charity begins at home. But based on our readings today, we can also say that mission begins at home. In our gospel, Jesus called his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits and over illness and diseases. And the instruction of Jesus was clear. Do not go into pagan territories. Do not go into Samaritan towns. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As if Jesus were telling them, start in your own backyard. This is also what we see in our first reading today. The story of Joseph and his brothers. And we all know this story how Joseph was almost killed because of the jealousy of his own brothers. But because of the wisdom given to him by God, he gained the favor of the Egypt Egyptian Pharaoh and was given a high position in his government. And now that there is famine all over the world, people were going to Joseph to ask for supply of food. And his own very brothers, who attempted to kill him, also begged for help from their brother Joseph. This made Joseph realize that mission should indeed start from home. He realized that God made him go through those unfortunate events in order for him to help his own family. My dear brothers and sisters, sometimes it is easier to do mission and it is easier to love people who are not known to us. Sometimes it is easier to preach God's Word, to teach goodness to people who are unknown. It is much more difficult 
to do mission to people we see and live with every day. Mas madaling magsalita tungkol sa katotohanan, tungkol sa pagbabagong buhay, tungkol sa pagpapakabuti, kapag yung mga kausap mo ay hindi mo kilala. Pero parang ang hirap-hirap na magsalita tungkol sa katotohanan, sa kabutihan, sa kabanalan, kapag ang pagpapahayagan mo ay ang sarili mong pamilya, ang sarili mong mga kaibigan, ang mga taong malalapit sa iyo. But the success of mission can only be gauged by the preaching of God's Word, not only to people unknown to us, but to the people who are close to us. Magiging matagumpay lamang tayo kung yung sarili nating pamilya at mga kaibigan ay nagkakaroon ng pagbabagong buhay dahil sa ating pagbimisyon sa kanila. Mission begins at home. Kaya bago natin magpagpahayagan ang ibang tao ng salita ng Diyos, tiyakin muna natin na ipinapahayag natin ang salita ng Diyos sa ating sariling pamilya. Bago natin sabihin sa ibang tao, magbagong buhay ka na, magpakabait ka na, bago natin ituro yung tamang landa sa ating kapwa, tiyakin muna natin na sa sarili nating tahanan at sa mga taong mamal- malalapit sa atin na ipapahayag natin ang mga salitang iyon na sila rin naanyayahan natin sa pagbabagong buhay at paglakad sa tuwid na landas ng Panginoon. Before we go far and wide in mission and in loving, let us see to it that we do mission first to the people we live with, to the people who are close to us, to the people who are dear to us. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus sends us to mission, He tells us today, do not go yet to unknown territories and to unknown people. Jesus sends us to mission, but He tells us, start in your own backyard. Mission should start at home. Please stand. As God's holy people called in different ways to spread the good news of the kingdom, we place our needs before our Father who continues to care for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called in the church to lead the people of God may have the courage to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who seek God may find enlightenment and respond willingly to God's invitation to be with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ, calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Let us pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass.
Heavenly Father, when you call us in the events of everyday life, let your Spirit give each of us the strength to say, Lord, here I am. I come to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace, kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock in our Facebook page. The host of our healing rosary tonight will be the parish community of Santo Rosario Parish in San Pedro, Laguna. And so let us gather once again as one family and as one community to implore the intercession of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, for ourselves, for our family, for our society, and for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand prize Five hundred years of faith, grateful today Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. We give our yes.